Okay, and welcome back to another episode of Planet Base. Alright, uh, for those of you guys who are unfamiliar with the game, Planet Base is a colony builder up where you are jettisoned into space with a bunch of random strangers. <laughs> I hope they're strangers. I don't think anybody would come with you willingly. <clears throat> and it is up to you to keep them alive and create a thriving colony. Now, uh, we already started our colony and we want to continue it. So let's go ahead and click on the continue button. <clears throat> now, where did I leave you guys uh, last time? I think we were just on the point of uh, building an additional um, uh, biodome. Uh, we already had the control center up and running and we were just dealing with the water supply problem. <clears throat> so let's see what's up. All right, we have of course our biodome over here. It's a large one. And we're just waiting for metal to come there. We also have this airlock here. We already have our um, control center. That means that we actually have the security controls active, which is what we need. Now, the reason why I put uh, an airlock over here is so that people that are working out here on this side can get inside fast. Now, if there is a solar flare, uh, we'll need them to get inside as soon as possible because the second they stay out, the longer they stay out, the quicker they die. So uh, we want to keep our colonists. We don't have that many. We only have 38. That's 15 workers and 14 biologists. And um, we want to keep them alive as long as possible. It's, it's just a little bit important that we do that. Because <laughs> otherwise we lose the game. Uh, well, anyways, uh, we have, of course, our telescope. Uh, it's going to help us um, stay a little bit ahead of the curve and perhaps predict a solar flare or two. And we need that prediction so we can uh, get our colonists inside uh, with a reasonable amount of time to spare. So let's go ahead and remove the dome so we can see our little ants. Um, we have three power collectors which are currently completely full. Uh, that's good. Uh, we have four of these solar panels so we should be able to generate 120 kilowatts of power um it's also quite nice so that together with uh, the fact that we are uh, on our way to building our additional uh, biodome here means that we will have quite a bit of materials this is all pretty good now we just need to have metal we do have a quite a lot of a little bit of ore it's all great. And we need to get that ore processed. We only have two of these metal processors at the moment, which is good. Um, and they they should be completely full. Yeah. So that we have we have six metal uh, sorry, uh, metal ore in these machines, and we have four somewhere else. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure where. I think it's yeah. There it is. There's there's some ore right there. It's all good. Now. So you get it processed. As soon as that happens, um, we can start building the rest of the buildings. Now, what do we want to do in this episode? We want to move on. Let me show you the milestones to uh, standing. So we're going to have a prestige of 100. Currently, we have a prestige of 60. So to get a prestige of an additional 40, we need to get our food up uh, to quite a little bit of higher level. Uh, and that's what we're going to do with our second biodome here. As you can see, our food is currently dropping like a stone uh, and not producing that much. Uh, it's because we have quite a lot of, quite a bit of uh, these colonists all eating at the same time. So that means that uh, these uh, meal makers are constantly being filled um, and they're taking the vegetables from our stock. Which of course is dropping our supply of food. It makes sense, people need to eat. It's all good. So you see, we, have, we are currently at 40 out of 50 colonists. We have uh, 10 beds, five here and five here. It's nowhere near enough. So as soon as this biodome is ready and built, we will put down a couple more cabins around here, possibly one over here and maybe even a second one somewhere over there. Now I want them spread out a bit so we can, um, so we can more um, space out all the stuff. So we have a bit of a power problem at the moment. <laughs> Our power collector is definitely emptying. Um, it's not good. Let me just turn some power off. We don't need all of this stuff anyway. 
let's go ahead and turn this off as well. Uh, the, the control center, we can turn that off, we don't need it. We can still use the controls even without the power being in the control center, which is good. Uh, we don't need any more, sp well, we do need spares. Uh, we need metal for that um, in order to get that. We have, we need three more metal. All right, two more. More metal coming. Power is currently critical. Uh, that's not good. So let's go ahead and turn the power off. Except, of course, with uh, regards to the meals and the beds. So people can sleep. And uh, possibly even our um, biodome. That's good. So that would mean that we will have, we'll be using a little bit less power. It's still going to go down, but it will take a little bit longer before it's completely empty. And we're not completely at the end of the night. So we need to have that resolved. Now this biodome at the moment is going to take up a lot of power. This power, uh, this biodome takes eight and a half um, kilowatts of power. That's more than any of the other buildings here. This, this is a normal kind of building, three kilowatts of power. Uh, this one here takes one and um, you, you if you go around you can see that these buildings don't usually all have uh, don't then don't all require so much power the biodomes on the other hand do they have lighting and heating and stuff like that so that means that um, they require the most amount of power all right we're going to have a bit of a problem this is going to run out in a very quick tempo uh, meaning that we will have <laughs> We'll have a bit of a, uh, a blackout in a second here. There it goes. And we're out. We have no more power. Which is, no, which is okay. We'll still survive. Um, our oxygen generators will not be able to produce any oxygen. But it's fine. We have a lot of oxygen in the colony already. So we just need to get this um, the sun to come up. And um, then we'll start. Yeah, there they come. They, they're starting to turn already towards the sun. Um, an automated process, of course, and that will help us um, get through the day. So everything will start, it will start to turn back on again. Well, primarily the the sub the items that we have actually turned on before. Uh, slowly, the rest of this thing, stuff will also turn on. So it's a whole bunch of little ants, and they're all a bit panicked because because <laughs> the sun was up uh, was uh, was the light was the lights were all out. So this is uh, this is fine. <coughs> So, okay, um, let's go ahead and turn some stuff back on again. I need my colonists to more or less work in the metal processing plants and not so much uh, outside in the mines. So I'm going to leave that off for now. Oxygen supply here has dropped quite significantly. It's, it's going to fill up slowly but surely. Uh, let's see how much power we're generating at the moment. 120 and we're using 33. That's good. Also power this up. Um, we need that. We need those uh, additional uh, spares. So we need two more metal. I need these both these machines to finish working, and then we should possibly, um, probably, <laughs> put down another uh, solar panel. And I think that a big solar panel might just do the trick. So I want to put that solar panel over here, right there. Mix it up with that thing, and then I want to um, recycle this, but I will do that in the night, so not yet. Uh, so as soon as we have our uh, power plant is filled, uh, we'll recycle this power plant, I mean this solar panel here, and use the metal to generate, uh, so to build the additional solar panel we're building, the bigger one that is going to be coming later. All right, two more metal. Uh, here comes another one. Excellent. Um, do we? What is our status at the moment? We're doing excellent. Um, so that's of course quite nice. We could do better. The only way we could do better is by producing, uh, putting down some more beds so that people can actually go and sleep. Currently, as you can see, we only we have maybe just one person here still unhappy. I'm not exactly sure where this person is. It could also be the the bot. Uh, that is uh, that the reason is why we don't have perfect status. We don't know. All right, one more metal, and then we can have this biodome set up. Now, we have a bit of an issue with plastic. Um, that'll be fine. I guess we'll, we'll get that sorted in a bit. Um, what we want now is to get uh, another power collector. 
Do you want the big one or do we just want the small one? I think we'll take we'll go for the small one. Since we don't really need a big one yet. Uh, and we'll get that built. Alright, there goes our last um, spear, I think. Here, here comes the bit of metal that we need. The last little bit of metal. Because we, <laughs> we're getting close to rock bottom with our food supplies. Uh, that's not quite what we want. Um, we have very few ready meals. As you can see, we're running low on ready meals. And uh, we're running low on uh, vegetables. But we have six vegetables now at the moment. That's just not enough. We need way more than that. Uh, we had a meteorite impact on one of our connections. This, this connection here is in poor condition. Uh, it's not going to influence our water supply though, luckily. So we'll have a, an engineer go out there and fix that for us. As soon as that's fixed, then we can uh, we can sort that out, and then we can get clean with that. All right, our food stocks are low. Can somebody come and build this, please? I need this up and running, and I need this in priority mode. Yeah, there we go. Um, we might have just maybe grown a little bit too fast. Okay, here comes Alexander. Uh, I need to turn our colonists off. We can't handle any more colonists at the moment. Um, there's no way that we can do that. Now, we have, everybody should be quite well fed. So we have a little bit of time before people start getting hungry again. Um, just a matter of that uh, matter of uh, how fast can we get this up and running and how fast can we get these pads built. We have seven plastic. Um, I need to use all of that plastic to put these, uh, these pads down. So we don't want to use... The, well, the workbench is currently full of materials, so we could, we could uh, technically uh, build that or build some more um, medical supplies, but I just need the plastic. I need the plastic for these pads. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Let's put these pads down as fast as possible. We need food, so note uh, we don't necessarily need uh, any um, any starch at the moment. Let's put this down. There we go. We do need another medical uh, plant pad. Um, this is all good. All right, let's get that started and let's get that built. So it's going to take up a bunch of water as soon as it's built and a bunch of power. Um, so we'll have to be careful with the uh, power supply that we have. Oh, are we going to bring this power? I mean, metal. There's metal here. I think it's going to go to the spares workshop. We need some more spares. So it's, it's good that she's bringing it there. Uh, we also have a bunch of more metal here. It's going to the spares workshop as well. Which is fine, I guess. <coughs> We need three metal for this um, power collector. So I want, I need to turn something off. So um, these things, I need them on. <laughs> There's not very much I can actually um, turn off to save power at the moment. So <coughs> we'll have to see if this is going to work. How are we generating 17 kilowatts of power still? Mm, bit odd. All right, now, um, oh, here come the pads. Good. <clears throat> Everything's being built really fast. You need one more plastic. Can we get one more plastic, please? We don't have enough starch at the moment to uh, keep both machines uh, at full capacity. And we are also running out slowly out of ore. That'll be fine, we'll manage. When the day comes again, uh, we'll turn some of the, mi the mines back on again and uh, we will look into that. But right now, I want to quickly recycle these, these things. And I think also potentially this one. And then I want to put down a large power collector, a solar panel, <coughs> right there. So I need this in um, priority mode. And of course, the power collector will also be kind of important, but it's not as important as this thing uh, because we need that. We need five metal for this. Uh, we need that as soon as possible because as soon as the sun comes back up again, uh, we only have two power <laughs> generators. It's not going to be enough. So we need that sorted. 
let's see what do we have here we have yeah, we have this one little radish pad it's gonna be built uh quite soon um we're building some more spares we should have four in no time how's our power our power is doing okay we're almost at halfway uh half the the night and uh nobody seems to be hungry yet it's because our single biodome over here is keeping up just barely with demand uh, but it's still keeping up it's close though it's going to be close um i don't think we'll have a problem with nutrition uh, but we might get a problem with uh with uh, with having nutritional value reduced in a bit. So this thing is going to produce, I think it's only going to produce 50 kilowatts of power. Uh, so it's not going to be enough power, uh, not equivalent to these both these solar panels. Uh, so we might have to build one additional solar panel um, as soon as possible. So we will we'll have, <laughs> we'll have a shortage of power uh, for sure. <clears throat> so we might have to keep some buildings off or turn them off uh, during the daytime it'll be fine we'll make it work right <clears throat> okay here comes the last little bit all right now we just need somebody to come and build it for us please just need to have an engineer move over there uh, Danielle is a worker she doesn't actually build anything she just works all right, we have, let's, let's put the priority on this as well. Up top, <clears throat> how much water are we using? We're using 7.5 kilowatts of power and we're using 2.5 kilowatts, I mean, gallons of, <laughs> I'm not sure exactly what we're using, but it's, it's definitely not good. Now we can't really use the power collector at the moment. I need an additional, mm, we'll have to wait. We'll have to see what's gonna happen. The sun's coming up. My engineer's moving there, Alexander B. Come on, B. You can do it. All right, our food stocks are going to go up. Uh, they'll be fine. Um, power is going to be okay. We are already way past um, halfway, half through the night. So it's uh, starting to get morning again. The sun should be coming up in a bit. So that's not a problem. But we need to get this, this solar panel, this big solar panel up. So we can fill up our power collectors again. Because two small... Uh, of medium uh, solar panels. I'm not going to cut it. All right, here we go. How much is this? 50 kilowatts of power. This is uh, 30, 30 each. So that's 60 kilowatts of power. So we're missing 10 kilowatts of power from the previous uh, setup. So we need to have an additional large um, dish set up here. Let's go ahead. We won't fill, uh, we won't be able to fill up um, our power collector over here if we don't build this additional solar panel <clears throat> all right now together with this biodome both these biodomes should produce twice as much power as we currently need it's great but i need uh we we only have one uh, ore left and i think it's this one here we need an additional uh four more ores or three more ores so we're going to have to open the mines up again there's no question about it here comes the sun, though. And we're doing quite well. We still have a lot of power in this power collector. Uh, nowhere near empty. Uh, just need to get... Um, should we put this... No, it won't, we won't be able to fill this one up. We won't be. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Solar flare is imminent. So let's put this on yellow alert. Get back inside. Everybody inside? We just have this uh, one... Uh, engineer outside here he should be uh, able to get inside uh, quite quite quickly there we go no problem whatsoever everybody's inside nobody's going to die I'm doing great <coughs> only problem is we won't be able to generate any more power I mean uh, uh, metal so we're gonna just remove the uh, priorities on this thing uh, we have a bit of an issue someone here is already hungry I don't think there are any more ready meals available. There's one here, but there's a lot more people hungry. <laughs> so we need this thing to start producing food. It's coming, it's coming. They're going to be able to produce in, in a bit. 
So 95%, 90-70% should be an issue. We should have food in, in no time. <clears throat> Although he might get to the point where he'll get nutritional, uh, malnutrition. So you're gonna have a lot more people here. This guy here, that guy there is hungry. Uh, this biologist over here is hungry. I'm not quite sure why she isn't eating the vegetables she's tending to. But this biologist is also hungry. Ah, it's not going good. It's not going well. But we have 13 vegetables now. So people should be starting to be able to take food out of the uh, meal makers. They'll, they'll start producing like crazy. Although he doesn't seem to be fast enough to get the food. <laughs> Go get your food, dude. Alright, we are... I think it's going to go back up again. We're producing 20... 23 uh, vegetables. We made this biodome just in time. <laughs> that was really close. Uh, that was incredibly close. Uh, good timing, good timing. So, food should be, shouldn't be an issue anymore. People should be able to get their food. Uh, should be able to get everything they need. Uh, morale will go back up again and we will go back from being a good status to being excellent once again. We still have this problem with the solar flares. We managed to keep everybody safe this time. All pretty good. I think that's it, right? No alert. I think the alert is status is, can be turned off. I think we are doing fine now. I think the solar flare is over. You can get everybody back to work. And we still have a bunch of food. And the ready meal machines are working overtime. Uh, it's all good. It's all good. We'll make it. We'll make it. Nobody's going to die. Uh, we have a bit of metal here uh, that needs to be delivered and transported to. I, th I think I have not, uh, we don't need this power collector. We won't be able to fill it up anyway. The solar panel is more important. Once we get the solar panel up and running, uh, then we can start thinking about the uh, power collector over there. It's all good. So let's keep uh, going the way we are currently going. Um, it shouldn't be an issue. I think we, we generate... Ooh. Ah, oh, that's a lot of water that we're using. Uh, we're only producing 13. Um, so if one of these uh, water extractors fails or produces underproduces, <laughs> the chances of that is quite high. Uh, we might get a little bit of a water problem. And uh, we are quite a bit over the 30 mark. So if the water reduces to a capacity that we can't use anymore, the biodome or the uh, oxygen generator will start to will maybe shut down. Then we'll, we will have to turn the biodome off. Because oxygen is a little bit more important than food. <laughs> uh, it's so funny sometimes. All right, we don't have enough seats. So building an additional canteen is going to be uh, paramount. Uh, we need to get people back up and happy again. So we will probably put something down over here. Um, or even over here. It's, it's all beef. It'll be fine. We'll manage something. We'll do something, right? <coughs> So there it goes. Big X, big spike. That big spike uh, in such a court, short time came because we built so many um, uh, pads all at the same time. Um, and they all delivered at the same time. So they had this huge spike of food and now it's going down because all these ready meals are being produced. It's all fine. It's all fine. Uh, he needs to eat. Uh, that's for sure. So, do we have any more ready meals available for him? We have nine available, so he shouldn't have a problem getting something to eat. Or she, Irma. Uh, I'm not quite sure why she's so incredibly hungry at the moment, but it's, uh, we'll figure it out. How many spears have we got? Three. So, let's turn this off for now. Uh, we can't really produce anymore. We need to metal instead for our... Um, solar panels here. Although I think we should be fine. Uh, we managed to survive quite comfortably last night. Um, 
with all of these additional systems offline. Although the the storage facility could be useful, uh, we do have we don't we don't have any we don't have any spare food, so <laughs> it won't be much use. Okay, everybody should be fed, right? No, we have somebody over here. This guy, Manuel Rice, he even has rice in his name. Um, he is uh, hungry as hell, so he needs to get something to eat. So this first batch of food got eaten up immediately because we had such a uh, hungry bunch. But the next batch, which will be coming in a bit, um, this is going to be a bit of another different issue because we don't have any storage facility at the moment. It's it's turned off, as you can see. That's all going to be piling up over here. Um, so we might have to do something about that later. In the meantime. Uh, we can turn no we don't we have more than enough um, medical supplies I don't see anybody here currently that needs medical attention so it's all good what we do need um, as you can see because of our status is it's, it's, it's good but it's not that good uh, it's some more beds we need to have some more beds and I want to put another bed over here so we can get the central core uh, people um, to be able to sleep so we want them to walk around and stuff like that. We could, we could possibly even connect it like that. And then we might even be able to get... Yeah, we can put it in like that. Um, that might be a good idea. We're not going to put it right now. <laughs> That's, that wouldn't be a good idea. Uh, but we'll do that eventually. Uh, we just need to get this solar panel up. We need one more metal. Uh, so we could technically put it down. Let's put it down anyway. Right, we need the, we need the we need the capacity. We need people to sleep. <clears throat> Put the bed there. Some more beds, excellent. Um, I don't think we'll be able to put the. Uh, no, we won't be able to. We can still put this. Nope, we can't do that either. Because <laughs> this connection we can still do, but this connection we can't do that anymore. We can't put a connection between the factory and the biodome anymore. So we'll have to stick around. We'll have to stay with the current diamond shape that we're producing at the moment. So it's be, it'll be fine. <clears throat> we could technically connect this up. It still won't really matter. Uh, we still have a um, uh, kind of a bottleneck that is our oxygen generator. Uh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. We'll make we'll make it work. So, do we have all the metal here? No. We, we're waiting for one more. Plastic is on its way to the um, cabin. It's good. See, there you go. Twenty more. Uh, vegetables and these will produce vegetables in I think <clears throat> in a bit as well um, allowing us even more food so that will raise our status up even further that means our prestige will jump in like a couple of seconds now I'm not going to turn the uh, control center on um, I think that it's a good idea to keep it off until we are past the uh, well until we're still it's close to daylight again um, I mean we do need a telescope but it, it, the chances of it actually detecting a um, a solar flare at the moment is very low um, because of only the 60% it don't there's only one um, telescope we need at least two telescopes to be able to detect solar flares and we might just want to put that somewhere over here for instance we'll see yeah, well, we could even grow in this direction. I'm not sure. We have a lot of space over here. If we get through here, we can also still continue growing in that direction. And we can grow in this direction. So uh, we have some, we have more potential if we grow in this direction than if we were to grow over in this direction. But we can still put some utilities here. And I want to keep the utilities at the boundary of our colony so that our colonists don't have to walk so far to maintain them and to build them particularly in building because although um, you have a, an engineer here working at this thing it goes pretty fast um, if there's a solar flare uh, he, while he's building <laughs> he's not going to move he's going to stay there until he's actually built it so we have 110, now we have 160. 
160 kilowatts of power that we're going to be generating with the solar panels uh, should fill these up pretty rapidly. And then we can I think we will definitely have to build this second um, uh, power, a third power collector, a fourth power collector. Sorry, my second. So do we have? Yeah, we have enough uh, metal to do that. Let's let's turn the the storage department on here. I think that'll be a good idea. I'll get some of this this uh, food stored away, keeping it nice and fresh. It's going to raise the power that we're using, of course, to 56. How much power does it use? 1.5. Okay, well, it's not much. Still significant that we now are uh, using up our last power collector. Um, that's fine. We're, we're almost daylight. <coughs> Daylight's coming. That's good. How are we doing with our... Yeah, I think the, the cabin is a little bit more important. If we get the cabin up, we'll get... Uh, we'll keep the status of excellent for longer. And although we can't um, get any more colonists at the moment, um, should get them in short order after the situation the crisis is done is of course perfectly possible. So let's get this person who needs uh, medical attention into sick bay, get him uh, a doctor, and it's uh, it will work out. All right, the storage facility is going to keep all of our beautiful little plastic bars and <laughs> boxes available uh, and stored away, so we can get keep going with the with the construction with the processing. Otherwise, our machines will fill up, and we don't want that. All right, we're back up to seven storing of ore. That was pretty fast. I didn't expect that, actually. All right, we are producing 160 kilowatts of power. This is going to go fast. Excellent. I like it. So we need one more metal here. Can we get one more metal, please? Shouldn't be longer. That much longer. Where where is the metal? There's a, there's a bit of oh there it comes there it comes. Uh, it's going to the airlock. I'm not sure which one. Mm, probably over there. That one. So our colonists are still walking all the way around. Perhaps it's a good idea to put down another additional uh, airlock on this side as well. Could do that over like so. Uh, that will allow us to build some utilities over here as well. Uh, without any problem. I'm just not sure if we want to do that. It would help with the spares, and they didn't have to walk all the way over there. They could just immediately walk out here. So, should we do that? Um, no, I want that um, power collector built first. I think that's a, a bit more of a, a priority than having to uh, build some more airlocks. That's just, just not necessary at the moment. So why are these paths, um, these connections and so on, turned off? These ones are turned on, but for some reason this is off. Why is that? Hmm. It's a bit odd. <clears throat> Alright, we aren't even uh, to the end of the day, or halfway through the day, and our power collectors are currently uh, almost filling up, almost full. Uh, it's, it's gonna, it's, we're going to be fine. We'll have both, all these, both these two last remaining uh, power collectors full in no time. And I think, yes, there comes our cabin. Uh, excellent. So we can put some more beds down. <clears throat> Food is doing okay. It's staying steady at around yeah, 16, 20. Uh, good. Let's put some beds down here. All right. Now, we need something that's uh, quite important. We need a water tank trouble is that I need this thing first so um, as soon as we have that power collector s built uh, I'll put down a water tank and the water tank will keep us uh, a little bit more secure in regards to uh, keeping our oxygen plants and so on running although it's either oxygen tank or a um, or a um, an airlock. Oh, questions. So many options. Oh, we got something else who's a bit hungry. We have food. Plenty of food. Come and have some food. <laughs> Bed has been built. Excellent. We'll get this built in no time. Allow people to sleep. More people to sleep at the same time. 
So we'll have beds, uh, 15 beds uh, right now uh, available. It is great because we only have 40 people. So for more than half of our, well, no, we can't, not, it's not half, 20 is half. So we'll need another additional uh, cabin to be able to, uh, to get everybody uh, somewhere to sleep. So we, we could put, potentially we could put an additional um, uh, cabin over here. But let's just first wait until we have this thing built. So here comes the last little bit of uh, metal. It's, this, it's a shame that he won't get this built until the end of the day. So we won't have any uh, way to utilize this power collector until tomorrow. Uh, be fine. But we do have the option to now finally build something else. And I would like to build um, the, uh, sorry, the water extractor. No, 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 the, the tank, the water tank. <laughs> I always made the mistake there again. All right, I want the water tank to be right here. Connected up to sick bay. This, is, this will fill up quite fast and it will store all of the, uh, uh, excess water that we have because I just I don't trust these things because currently we're producing 9.9 .9 liters of uh, liters I think it's liters I'm not sure exactly how much there's no no numerical uh, units here stated so it's kind of difficult to to actually say how much of what it is um, but anyways it's it's mm, 9.7 drops of water okay, let's say that <laughs> uh, while we technically can only produce we have 15 I think yes Three, three times five, fifteen. Yeah, fifteen drops of water, and we are producing nine. So we still have capacity to produce an additional six. It's okay, I guess we're doing good. We've gotten out of our little bit of a uh, uh, hunger dip, <laughs> and we are producing quite a bit of ore, and we are constantly processing all of that. So this is. We have enough colonists now to be completely stable uh, with, with regards to uh, materials. So let's see, why isn't it being moved here? We are, we are halfway through to the, the storage facility being full. Uh, a lot of people are going to sleep now. Good. Um, so we, we, we should be... We do, how much... What are we doing now? We're doing good. Good, still good is good. Our prestige is staying steadily, steady at 70. Uh, it's also quite good. Uh, we having, uh, we're going to have an engineer here who's going to move and build that power collector for us. We'll be able to use that in the morning. And we're now we're just waiting for this three metal for this thing. And the first metal is already on its way. Wow, these guys are productive. Excellent. I wish I had you guys in the last season. <laughs> All right. Here comes the power collector. And the cool thing about uh, this planet that makes it a little bit easier than the previous planet. I know, I know this is a class M planet. It's supposed to be more difficult than the last planet. But this is actually a little bit easier because we have a reliable power source. Um, the solar power is way more reliable than um, wind power. Oh, we got somebody else with a broken leg. Uh, come on down, get your leg fixed. It'll be fine. Alright. Food is going up. And we should hit the prestige mark. Oh, it's going down. It's just because we used a bit of our food, but it's fine. Uh, if we can get the prestige up to 100, then, we're, then we'll have the standing set up. We can get, probably in the next three episodes, we'll get that uh, century reached. Robotization, we won't get that until a little bit later. Just fine. We're still just in the, uh, in the first uh, part of the colony, uh, setting up the colony. So we're nowhere near ready yet to start thinking about uh, any of the really big milestones. Or even thinking about tech or even trading at the moment. We have nothing to trade. Uh, we have med medical plants, but that's basically it. We don't have enough power to keep everything up and running yet. So that's that's our priority. We want to get 
uh, more production and we want to get more um, more power stored that's kind of important how's our food it's going down but I see 31 um, and that in my mind means that we are it's, it is improving let's also turn this on I think that's a, probably a good idea to do that uh, as soon as the daylight is up then we'll turn everything back on again because we are generating way more power than we need um, so we should have enough power to get everything running we won't get any colonists but we can turn traders back on again we'll do the, we'll do the trading part see if we can train some of, trade some of our medical supplies uh, medical plants for some um, coin let's turn this on um, that will allow us to generate to build this uh, make this one little um, medical supply thingy here here comes our medic Carla she'll get too busy and uh, we'll get this all started sorted pretty fast 37 excellent it's going up and up and up we want to keep that going the more we get the higher our prestige all right here comes the last little bit of uh, metal for our water tank now I'm not even sure exactly if a water tank uses power I actually didn't actually uh, I never actually looked at that before hmm that's a good question does a water tank use power uh, to store water I I, I don't think so <laughs> uh, but I could be wrong we'll see in a bit should have an engineer moving out in a bit yeah there it goes Dominic is coming outside and he will uh, build his water tank for us it's gonna be fine let's uh, get a bit of a store of metal here so we can uh, fill this factory up with, uh, with with metal and have a bit of a uh, um, yeah a buffer power storage is low that's fine we're almost at the end of the day at the end of the night so we should be able to survive that wait where did Dominic go I thought he was on his way I was pretty sure he was on his way. <laughs> Dominic, is that you? No, that's Omar. Where's Dominic? Was Dominic a worker? I see an engineer outside now. And that's Kaufman. Is that Dominic? That's Michael. So where's Dominic gone to? <laughs> I don't know where Dominic went. Dominic went uh, walkabout. He's somewhere out here. I, d I don't know where he is. That's fine. <clears throat> Power storage is critical. Well, yes, I know that, but it's fine. Sun's coming up. Well, these things will start moving in a second. And uh, we are storing water. And yes, it does use power. 1.5 kilowatts of power. Okay. I didn't expect that. I thought that the, the, the uh, water extractors would actually be the ones pumping the water in here and not the water tank itself that's fine this will uh, help us stay a little bit more secure and give us that extra little bit of uh, um, of time in case our extractors go beyond below their uh, set um, capacity so we want that we want that a lot so that's good Let's turn everything back on again. F4. Everything's back on. Good, 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 good. Uh, that means we can get a trader down. And how much power are we using? 84. So that's, we did a good prediction with 160 kilowatts of power. You always want to try and get twice as much power generation uh, as you're using. So you can fill up your power collectors. Now, we are at the edge. <laughs> as you can see, we need a little bit more which we'll be doing in a bit as soon as we have uh, where why are these guys walking uh, towards each other oh they're walking towards the spares workshop okay did we have metal stored away is that actually an option hmm i didn't expect that all right um next we have our water tank uh, ready uh, now what we want to do is put down uh, an, another uh, cabin we want another cabin so we can get more people sleeping 
and we, we should want that cabin to be over here. Although we could also use an oxygen generator. That would also be quite helpful. Uh, we might just want to put that over here like so. This is just a small one just to keep the core here a little bit. Oh, let's put a big one. Why not? Can we put that there? Can, is that going to work? See, I want to keep it, the lines as long as possible here. Excellent. Let's do that. That will give us uh, options of putting two cabins here. Um, and of course, generate enough oxygen for this entire section. Be good. We have a trader. Let's see what he wants to trade. Ooh, ah, ah, ooh the constructor. Co oh, ah, bloody hell. And Drillabots. What is your commission? Ooh, 60%. You're very expensive. I, I can't afford you. Go away. <laughs> uh is too expensive too bad how is our power doing hey it's not that great we are producing 160 kilowatts but we should already be more than halfway full uh, of power in our power clutches we are not so i don't think we're going to be able to get this power clutcher here full uh, so we might need to build an additional uh, solar power plant get that power uh, flowing you know what i mean so we need three metal we currently only have one <laughs> but it's fine we have 13 ore stacked over here um, in our uh in our storage that's all good so we can potentially build 13 more things now um that is going to have to happen in the next episode because we are we've definitely run out of time I want to thank you guys for watching this episode, and if you enjoyed it, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Uh, if you are playing the game, I would love to hear what you guys have to say about this. Uh, just leave something in the comment about how your colony is going or what your priorities are in the colony. And uh, we'll see if we can't uh, reproduce your colony a little bit. <laughs> see if your tips actually work. Uh, that'd be cool to hear. And I will see you in the next one, where we uh, continue building. Have a nice night. See you next time. Bye-bye.